right, we're out of the mine today. I'm doing better. My foot's all healed up. I can walk without uh, without limping. So I'll give you a brief update on what we got going on. Uh, it's Thursday, March 15th. Uh, we had a couple of snafus. We started pulling in the electrical and uh, had some issues there. I'll go over a video on that a little bit better. Uh, I'll show you that here in a minute. We uh, had some issues, had some breakers shipped in. Uh, I just posted the previous video on that. Um, upgraded iPhone, had some issues with that, so we ain't been really making uh, videos for the past couple of days. Um, I want to say excuse me on one of the videos that's going to be posted here. It was shot with the iPad, and uh, Monique wasn't quite accustomed of holding the iPad, so it's a little bit jittery. But uh, we'll go ahead and get on into the explanation of what we've done, and... Uh, I'll show you some of the pictures and video clips from the past couple of days. this project we're using aluminum wire this is aluminum rated lugs what we're doing is loosening all these lugs so we can put a, a non-oxidizing compound on the inside of here it keeps it's actually a requirement whenever using aluminum wire to have a non-oxidizing compound on all of your mating surfaces So this is the panels that are associated with the uh, service entrance on the outside. So this first one is, is two inch conduit all the way through, as you can see the size difference in the LBs. Once we got into this LB, to turn and pull those wires up right there, the first wire was somewhat hard, the second wire we uh, actually put the butt of a pipe wrench in there so it had a smooth guide going all the way up into the LB, and the second wire ran pretty good. The third wire was an absolute beast to get in there. Um, I mean, that third wire just... It took us about three hours with me, Logan, and Birkin to get these wires up into this panel. The next day, we spent all day in New Orleans. We ended up getting five of the three-inch LBs, and uh, Birkin did some diligent searching, and we found enough three to two inch reducing elements at a Lowe's just happened to have in stock. When we went to go do this service right here, it took me and Birkin about an hour by ourselves. Um, that was cutting the two inch LB out, fitting everything back up, resizing the, the conduit run to fit the three inch, pulling the wires in and landing them in the outside panel. Um, I mean, y'all heard me in some of my older videos. I, you know, I say older electricians fight too much. 
the price difference between the one on the left and the one on the right, the one on the left is about 10 bucks. The one on the right was $37. So an additional $37 spent on this job saved us two hours of, of maybe two and a half hours of just painstaking hard labor. I felt like I got run over by a train when we did the one on the left by the time we left that night.